have I done to you? Mama, it was not my fault. It was a mistake. It was a mistake that you were found running around the campus with the devil's coffees. I said it, Jessica. What is going on here? Mama, oh, why are you shouting your lungs out? The matter is this school for nothing person to call, call Jessica. Ah, but Mama, how can you use such a language on your own daughter? What has she done again? She is a queen of a court group. Huh? And the weapon that was used to kill a student were found in her room. She was locking the police to get her off their book after being innocent. Jessica, is it true? Answer me, is it true? Oh my God. How could you do this? How could you do this to us? Tell me, how do you think Papa is going to feel in his grave right now? Eh? Do you know how much I have sunk into your education? Do you know? Tell me, why did you do it? Tell me, why? Sister, I'm sorry. Will you shut up your mouth and stop shedding this wicked crocodile tears? Now let me find fight on you! I said, you not go into your room! Nonetheless, Mama, you need to take it easy. You know your blood pressure needs to be checked. Take it easy. Anyway, I mean, my daughter, So you found time to come and visit your poor mother. I hope there's no problem. Mama, do I need an invitation to come? I know. Far from it, my daughter. It's just that you have never visited one of my So where are your luggages? Or you didn't come with anything? No, my luggage is in the car. I heard your voice and ran inside. I don't want to ask. Sit down. Just relax. Let me get it for you. How about Mama? Let me get my luggage. Just that. I can't find the man that is responsible. Hey! Yes, come. 
coming, the door is open. Hello. Whoa, Annabelle! <laughs> <laughs> it's so good to see you. Where did you spring from? <laughs> no, 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 don't tell me. <laughs> from the moon? Try again. Okay, I get it. You've been abroad working in this fabulous oh, hospital, come on. right? Come on, <laughs> I can't believe it's been five years since I saw you last. I can't believe that it's been five years. <laughs> well, come you don't keep in touch. I've missed you so much. Joy, you know how the job is. I have too so many patients. Sure. I, I hardly have time for myself. My sister, I envy you. I barely have enough patients. Mm -hmm. You know? Tell me, how is Lagos? Hello, sister. Well, won't you at least ask me to sit oh, down? Oh, please forgive my manners. Do sit. No, let's go right into the kitchen and we're bringing lunch. Okay? You are? Yes. Uh, okay. uh, so, what's going on now? How are you doing? What is it? What's the problem? Is it that you don't like my cooking or you don't enjoy rice anymore? Because I remember the last time you could give an arm for a plate of well spiced jello fries and chicken like this. Sorry. It's not your cooking. And jello fries is still my favorite. So what is it? I don't know how to say it. <laughs> well, oh, you know, whatever is, is bothering you can never be solved in silence. I've I've noticed since you came inside, you've not been your usual you yourself, and. I was expecting you to open up first. You know. Tell me, is it a man? Because I know it's only a man that can make a woman feel this bad. Hmm? Annabelle. Tell me everything. Something else you know. Sure. Pregnant. I'm pregnant for a man who doesn't care about me. For a man who doesn't care. Just tell me was one Monday morning. <laughs> Yeah.
Actually, it's about my mother. She's coming to town tomorrow morning, mm. so I want to bring her to the hospital so that um, you could just have a check on her. What is wrong with her? Oh, nothing, nothing. Just I just wanted to have a general check up on her, you know. Okay. See, Old folks. To be us every now and then. Yeah. Oh, they need Don't mind the woman. No, she said she wants to come and see me. A bachelor being in the house alone. She heard that. Right. She when she alone. comes, just bring her. We'll look her. All right, then. No problem. 
Well, I just said, let me pay your visit. You never oh. bothered to drop by. It's okay. I'm sorry. What can I say? Bad habit. I'm uh, sorry. Yeah, um, what can I offer you? Hmm? What can I offer you? You're kidding me. Hmm? Uh, what can I offer you? Do to offer me something. <laughs> Some drink. Anything you offer me, I'll take. Anything to make you drunk? No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Alright, now I'll get you some maybe malt or something. Alright then. I'll be back with the chiffin. Oh, that's it first. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Hello. Doctor! Oh, come on, oh, Paul. Come on in. Annabelle. Oh, Annabelle, come on in. Annabelle. Please, sit down. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Okay. And you? I'm fine. Mm -hmm. Hey, see, I got this movie, but my video player has a little problem, so mm -hmm. I brought it so we can play it here and then watch it together. On my way from work, I stopped in a shop and I saw this really nice wine, Let so I see. thought we could sip on Oh, the this is really good wine. Really yeah, good wine. really nice wine. Mm -hmm. You see, the problem is, um, full, you know. I ate a lot today and um, I don't think my, my tummy can stomach anything else, really. Well then, let's just watch the movie. What movie is it anyway? So Schindler's movie. List! Yeah. Wow, I hear, I hear this film is really good. Yeah, I hear so too. Really nice film. Yeah. Beautiful movie. So, um, why don't you play it? You see, the, I would have loved to watch with you, but you see, I... I have a meeting to attend, and before that meeting, there's this. I have to go to the mechanics first, you know, before going to, for the meeting. I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I I really wish I could watch this film with you. Um, okay. You know what? You, you could stay and watch the film. All right. Or, or better still, you could you could just take the DVD home. You know, when next I see you, I'll, I'll get to... You know what? I just lost interest. <laughs> I don't really need to see that the film that badly. So, I think I'll just get someone to fix my video player tomorrow. Then I can watch it in my apartment. Are you sure? Later. Yeah, sure. I'll see you later, okay? Take care. Uh, Annabelle? I'm sorry. No, no, come on. It's okay. Sorry. Yeah, come on. Sorry. It's all right. yeah, sure, sure. Sorry. It's okay. See ya. Bye. I'm fine, thank you. Where are you going? Uh, I want to buy a recharge card across the road. Recharge card? Mm. Oh, don't you worry. I have two in my car. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I need lots of cards. I have an international call to make. Oh, okay then. Um, I was going to come and invite you for dinner at my apartment this evening. I'm making this very nice vegetable soup. I'm sure you love it. Oh, that's so thoughtful of you. Mm. But so, I have lots of work to do. I wish I could honor it. Okay, you know what? Maybe we'll do that some other time. Excuse me, what is it exactly with you? I mean, why do you keep rebuffing a lady? Can't you at least be a gentleman? Um, Annabelle, no, it's okay. It's okay. Annabelle, I'm sorry.
Hello. Annabelle, hi. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it the way you think. Yeah, um... Can we, can we... have dinner tonight? No, I mean like, um... maybe like, go out somewhere. Are you sure, Paul? Sure, sure, I'm, I'm serious, yes. Um, okay, this is what we'll do. Um, I'll make my international call, then after that, I'll go get dressed, okay? Okay, Paul, um, you just made my day. Thanks, eh? I'll just go upstairs, dress up, and hook up with you, okay? Alright, sorry about that. Bye. about us dating. Paul, you initiated this outing. I take it that you're, you're interested in me? No. You see why I don't like encouraging women like you? I mean, what's it with you women anyway? Just a simple outing and you're already fantasizing that we're dating? Paul, you know I love you. You know how I feel about you. Don't tell me you cannot see my feelings for you. Hmm? I don't need this. What exactly do you want? Can't you see? Can't you see the way I feel about you? Can't you? Huh? I want you in my life. I just want us together, that's all. That's very impossible. Come on. Love is a two-way thing. It's a give and take situation. You can't force your love on me. You know what? I think this is a very, very big mistake. Oh, come for me. Oh, don't walk out of me. Let's discuss this as adults. Adults? Yes. Adults. If you were an adult, you'd have known how to talk about this thing. I mean, you just can't come and say you love me and all that. But listen, friends, yes. But lovers, hell no. You're full of shit. Whatever. <laughs>
Could you see how much I love you? Could you? Why can't you just see that I love you? Why? Recently, one night, I was asleep in my apartment when I heard a loud knock on the gates of the compound. So I went outside to see who it was. Lo and behold, it was Paul and his friends. I guess they went to a party and he got drunk, so they brought him back home. I helped him into the apartment and because he was drunk I took him to my own apartment instead of taking him to his. I helped him clean up and one thing led to the other. We made love. Honestly, I was thinking that by the time he wakes up in the morning he would realize how much I love him. And at least reciprocate my love. But instead, he was gone. By the time I woke up, he was gone. He left me a note saying that he's sorry we had anything together and all that. Together. You know, I can't believe this, Annabelle. I can't just believe this because this is so unlike you. How could you have brought yourself down so low and shamelessly thrown yourself at a man over and over till you get yourself pregnant? I mean, what's wrong with you? This is not you. I know, Joyce, I know. I know it's unlike me, but I couldn't resist it. See, I love Paul. I love him. There's no denying it. I love him. I don't see anything wrong in loving a man. I just believe that one day he's going to come around and, you know, be with me, especially now that I'm carrying his baby. Wake up, girl. Wake up. I mean, how do you expect him, uh, I mean, how, 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 how are you going to convince him to, to accept your pregnancy? Especially when he doesn't even know you guys made love. Hmm. So, so what do you suggest I do? Isn't it obvious? You terminate the pregnancy, of course. Huh? Yes. Because, I mean, they thousand and one guys out there dying to have a girl as beautiful as you are. I mean, just go back to Lagos with great prospects. My mother has threatened to disown me should I terminate Please, the pregnancy. Your mother. 
what does your mother know about our age? I mean, which man will want a single mother as a wife? Tell me. If, okay, fine. If the man loves you so much, its parents will never allow him to marry you. So you had better think about it. <laughs> if you say so. Well, I say so. I say so. Because, I mean, this is your life. Maybe in a month or so, Exactly how long will it take you to put everything inside the boots? Hurry up, Lagos is not near. Also, thank you for the that I I'll get word across to you as soon as I make up my mind on what to do. I know you will make the right decision. Sister, I'm finished. Mama, I promise to forgive myself. If you like, believe. If you like, don't. But this is the last time I'll talk to you about your future. Hmm? You should be grateful that your sister is going to take you and love you to make us. Ah, uh, Mama, Jessica is my sister. And it's my duty to put her right. I should be able to do anything I can to put her in the right way. Anyway, we should go away. But we'll be alright. People should Stopping the entire neighborhood with your music. But a girl has to party sometimes. So I mean, everybody can be the serious Annabelle. Yeah. Listen, let me tell you. If this is what you're going to be doing, I'll have no other choice than to send you back to the village. Who cares? Simply jealous because I'm prettier than you and men flock around me. My sister, you're all so dumb. Where did you get that from? The truth is bitter. You know what? You need a man that will bring out the passion in you. Maybe, just maybe, you, you won't be so upright anytime I want to catch my phone. Each time Don't I want you to dare talk to me like that again. Smelling of alcohol.
my name is Paul, Paul Dagogo, I stay in the next one. Uh, here, next yes. one. Amazon never told me of any neighbor site I've been here for a month now. The, uh, well, that's because I just came back from South Africa a few hours ago. Oh, oh. my God, you know, you really scared me. I didn't know what to think or say when I saw you right in the middle, right in the middle of the I'm city. sorry, I'm sorry that I frightened you. Oh, um, it sounds really good, eh? <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Well, it's Annabelle at home. Oh, jeez. Thank goodness. Finally, a man has come calling for my sister. No, 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 it's nothing like that. Too. It's just that I traveled and I came back. I brought this gift to give her. Nothing more. I'm name. just a neighbor, yeah. That's just that. Okay. Anyway, so, um, do I also get some goodies from South Africa? You know, this is for Annabelle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why not? Of course. Um, you could just come over to my flat and um, get something. For myself? Well, I don't think that's a good idea. But I'll ask her about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So she has all that influence on you, huh? How old are you anyway? Hey, that's personal. Besides, age is inconsequential. Mm. Yeah, that's true. That's true. At least you can tell me your name. Like I told you before, my name is Paul. Okay, okay. So what's your name? Jessica. Jessica. Yeah. Nice That's to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay. Okay. So I expect you upstairs to get your gift, right? After asking Annabelle. <laughs> okay. After asking Annabelle. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. But your sister. All right. All right then. You kind of look um, different from Annabelle. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Bye -bye. <laughs> so just tell her I came, okay? Okay. Don't mind. Sorry for your dancing. You tell me. been exactly one week since we had our little quarrel and you still won't talk to me. Okay, at least acknowledge the fact that I'm talking to you. Hello, baby sis. So you won't talk to me. I'm sorry I laid my hand on you. Okay? I won't do it again. Remember what mama said. Should anything happen to any one of us, it's going to kill her. You won't talk to me, eh? Okay. Yeah. That's 20,000 naira. Use it to buy anything you want. But make sure your jam form is in your list. It's about time you went back to school. Okay? Alright? I'll give you more money when you start your jam classes. Okay? All came to the prayer. We brought some gifts and I dropped them in here. Who? Paul. That bastard. What did he say he wants? And who told you to let him into this place in the first hey, place? Hey! Don't shout at me. I didn't ask him to come looking for you, did I? Sorry I yelled at you. I'm sorry. I've actually had a stressful day. What did he say he wants? I don't know. But he asked me to come over to his class for my own gift. For what? Listen, I forbid you to have anything to do with that bastard. Did you hear me? If you should try that, I'm going to send you back to the village. <laughs> Annabelle, you should have been a lawmaker, not a medical doctor. <laughs> Fine boy, 
you to get to Cape Town, man. You know, I bet you enjoy yourself with all those booties running around you, man. <laughs> man, cut that out. You know, you know I'm not cut out on that. My guy, you still never changed up on all this South Africa. You still in the headline nerd. Hold out those things, man. Car can tell me all about your course, so how was it? Did you know? Mm -hmm. That was that babe I saw in a few minutes ago. Yeah. Call, man. Man, <laughs> <they can't>. <laughs> man, we'll see our blood running in this vein, man. <laughs> this is my you play my cheek. You know I see our blood running uh, in this vein. My guy, all these things are settled down now. Settle down. Settle down. Settle down. I will, I will change. <laughs> Let me tell you, I will change. Hmm. I will change as soon as you realize the opportunity that is not as nice door to you. Bro, are you reaching in that girl? Annabelle. Yeah. Hmm. Forget that one. What, 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 what is the problem with you? I tell you something, I sit down to, to check. Is it, is, it, is it all of these two things? Is either you're stupid or you're blind? <laughs> Why don't you like that babe? <laughs> I tell you, I'm serious. And I've been trying to ask you, can you give me one reason why you don't like that girl? Dude, why all that you? glitters is not gold. You don't expect me to just open my arms and hug every fine girl I see. Well, okay. you don't know what you're missing. You see what you let me tell you what you're doing. You're throwing away God's given opportunity. Mm. That girl is a medical doctor for heaven's sake. So uh huh. I better forget I that. Gotta... Oh, yeah, you you're still even number nerd. I'll go they go. Uh -huh. My guy, you go South Africa, come back. What do you bring come from yet for me? Hey, I thought that was what you were gonna start with, man. <laughs> I got stuff for you in the car, yeah. You bring something for me. Leave her inside, come here, and you they hear the talk. Man, stand up, then we go more to. <laughs> Alright, man. Man, yeah. how to see you. You're looking good. Let's take it easy. You know. no, come back. Please, 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 please. <laughs> <laughs>
I'll get them. I'll get them. Hey, what a coincidence. Hey, hey, you know what? Okay, I'll call me back later, okay? Alright. Hi, Jessica. How are you doing here? Well, uh, I should be asking you that. But uh, what I came to do in the bank took me time, so. What are you doing here? Well, I just came to see my friend of mine. He sits around there. He's not around, so I'm like chilling out for him. Alright. I didn't know you were still in the bank. Yeah, what I came to do took me much time. So okay. I just finished now, but I have to go. I'm very hungry. Oh, that makes us too. I'm hungry too. You know what? Let's just get, take a bite somewhere, and um, you know, we can go home afterwards. Um, the offer is plenty, but I can't accept. Hey, Jessica, we stay in the same compound. You know, just eat, and I'll drop you off. Okay, fine. Lunch will be fine since you're doing the pain. <laughs> a very funny person, you know. Um, what are you doing here anyway? I came to buy jam for a I waited and waited and they couldn't get some today, so they said I should come back to you. Okay. Do you know looks can be deceptive? You could pass for someone who is um, either serving or working. You guess right. I was actually supposed to be going to camp for service. Huh? So why are you buying a jam for? I was rusticated from school a month ago and that was a month to my final exam. Oh, that's sad. What happened? What? Why don't we leave that story for another day? Right now this girl is very hungry, testy oh, and tired. Oh, 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 I understand, okay? Sorry about that. I was kind of waiting for the guy to. Stuff. Paul, it's almost 3 p.m. I hope I'm not keeping you from working. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Actually, I am on um, sick leave for today. Why didn't you tell me? Mm -hmm. If I had told you, you would have known I was waiting for you all this while to take you to the bank and bring you, take you to lunch and all that. And I'm sure you would not have wanted to come with me. Wait a minute. You mean you got up this morning, waited for me for five hours at the bank, mm -hmm. took me to lunch and brought me here? I mean, why? Why? Isn't it obvious? I like you. I just want to be your friend. Well... I like you too, and I'm honored to be your friend. But you didn't have to go this far. Yeah, I know. Let me take you home. <laughs> well, I hope you had a nice time. <laughs> I almost forgot. Yeah, that was a lovely lecture you delivered this afternoon as well. Why do you think they pay huge money for me to go to South Africa of course, man? That's all right, you're the man. And uh, what are you doing this weekend? Let's hang out now. Nah, nah, nah. I got other things on my mind. Like what? Well... Let me guess. It's a girl. I know there's a woman that's responsible for this new look. I know it. I know that someday some girl is going to come into your life and melt this out. Get out, yo. <laughs> Then who was she? Tell me. Who was she? Who was she? Mm, well, you've not met her before. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, this girl is mm, sweet. I'm not kidding. 
whose girl is it. But now you know now, I've not had the nerve to tell how I feel about her. Paul, you never cease to amaze me. Paul, how, <laughs> you're such a Jew, man. You're in love with a girl and you can't walk up to this girl and tell this girl that you're in love with her. Must we all be like you? I mean, I'm taking it time by time. We've just been like friends first. Then from there, I will advance to another stage. It's, careful. it's a careful thing, man. I love this girl, but if I tell her, I don't want to scare her, you understand? You never cease to amaze me. You, 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 you know a girl, you have access to this girl, and you can't walk up and tell this girl that you love this girl. You just sit down there and you expect things to work by magic, my friend. It doesn't work that way, man. Wake up! Ah! <laughs> you crazy, man. You crazy. No, I'm serious. If you're not careful, some guys just, some guys just come along the way and take the girl away, man. It's that simple. That's what important. you got to do, man. I'm serious. I'll tell you. Fine, man. Thanks. Okay, I'll do exactly that. I'll learn what you're doing, man, you know. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll learn from you, you understand? Yeah, just take <laughs> what you consider the positive side. Thank you. So you actually have some positive side after all. <laughs> Take care. See ya. Oh, damn. <laughs> when are you going for your time? I should be gone in two months' time. Mm. No, I still have to wait for my call-up letter. Okay. Since you're so lucky, you know. Looking back, you know, way back in school, I should have listened to you. By now, I know I would have been through. So, Joyce, now you decide to take John again. You're back in school. Before you know it, girl, you'll be a graduate. It doesn't waste time. It just happens so fast. Paul said the same thing. He's been of tremendous help. Who's Paul? A guy I met a few weeks ago. So wonderful. Cynthia is so, I don't know, he takes time to lecture me. He listens to me when I talk. He's so nice. Are you in love with this guy already, Joyce? Being in love is an understatement. <laughs> I'm head over heels in love with this guy. But he doesn't know yet. It's written all over you. I know my friend is. I mean, I know something new is happening in your life, but I just can't believe it. you're in love with a guy. Believe you finally fell in love with a guy. No, just to my dress. My God, that's him. That's Paul. He's coming to our table. Hey, he's coming to our table. Calm what down. Do? Take it easy. Hey, yeah. He's not going to eat you oh, up. Calm. Calm. <clears throat> Hello, ladies. Hi, Paul. Hi, Jesse. You didn't expect to meet you here. I didn't expect to meet you either. <laughs> shall we? Yeah, sure. Well, um, my friend and I um, were supposed to have a meeting with a client here, but um, it turns out he called up and said um, he wasn't going to make it again. So. Yeah. Now, Paul, I want to introduce us. Oh, sorry, I forgot my ticket. Well, um, this is Jude. He's my homie, my dog. My pig. <laughs> He's a pig headed guy, and this is Jessica. Let me talk like one evil man. I'm not his dog, I'm his G. <laughs> um, Cynthia, Paul, and Jude. Nice to meet you. Nice mm. to meet you. I think you surround yourself all the time with beautiful girls. Huh? Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I guess since you guys are already here, you can just uh, join us for lunch. Yeah. <laughs> Not at all. Yeah. It would be rude of us to turn down such an offer. Oh, yeah. I say yes to that. Yeah. No, we're here. We're here. Okay. We're here. Yeah. All right. We might yeah. even stay for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Waiter. Waiter. What's your name again? Yeah. Jude, Jude, please, please, okay. No, I'm just Alright. Wait, Okay, you want to go to the bathroom? Yeah, let's go. Watch me. Watch me squash this game! Oh! <laughs> I won! Paul, I won you for the first time! 
church. Uh, well, well, I you won, won, won. You won because I allowed you. No, I won because I win. No, 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 no. Because I'm better. No, no, no. I allowed you win. No, Paul, I won you. No, accept. no. I would have won you since. I was just letting you get the right stuff, you know. <laughs> Paul, no, 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 no. I won you for the first time. Then. Okay, okay, me. okay. You won. Yes. Yes! Because I allowed you win. Because I allowed you win. Because I allowed you win. Say I allowed you win. I allowed you win. Yeah, I allowed you win. That's why you won. Yeah. Yeah. You won because I allowed you win. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 Paul. I won because I'm better this time, you know.
yes, I did. <laughs> but I couldn't take my mind off you. I kept thinking about you all the time. So you have to come back. Mm, I have to come back for you. Paul, you're telling me we do not yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, that reminds me. I got this for you. What did you get this time? You're always getting me. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Well, Simon. Yes, this is for you to call me anytime. And um, these are the keys to my flat. So you can enter whenever you want. Of course. I've just known you for six years. Six weeks is more like six years to me. Mm? So why don't you show me how much you love me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, baby. Mm -hmm. you were doing in my living room with my sister. Um, Annabelle? Um, Annabelle, I am. Uh, you. Right. I'm in love with Jessica. Shut yes, your mouth. Yes, Annabelle. Sh Shut your mouth! You slut! Annabelle. You couldn't see anyone to sleep with except my neighbor. And you, what are you doing here? Leave my house before I call the police. Anna, don't take it like that. Paul, leave my house. Call the police. Can I maybe talk? Get out. You couldn't even get anybody to sleep with except my neighbor. You cheap slut. Hey, just, just take it. Go on, get out of my apartment. Hey, hey. Get out. All right. Get out. All right. Get out. Yes, I am. Get out. I just get out. 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 All right. Get. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm get going. Out. I'm going. I'm going. Out. I'll see you later. And where do you think you're going? I'm going after all and you don't have any right or whatsoever to talk to my boyfriend the way you just did. Jessica, you know you're the only sister I have. Aside from that, you also know that you are the only relative I have, apart from Mama. You know, right? I want to beg you, in the name of God, please stop saying poor. Whatever it is you want me to give you for you to stop seeing him, just tell me. I'll give it to you. Just stop seeing him. Please. Why should I? Why should I stop seeing Paul? Does he, I mean, what has he done to you? Does he womanize, steal, or drink? He has done none of those things. I just want you to stop seeing him. Says who? Paul and I love each other. Sister, what is wrong in that? What is wrong with that? 
Jessica said you should stop saying Paul. Basic. Don't find out. Don't bother about why and you will not understand even if I explained it to you. So just stop seeing him. You can't see him while you're in this house. You cannot keep seeing Paul. So just stop seeing him. Sister, you are not making any sense at all. You have refused to give me any reason why I should stop seeing Paul. I mean, in fact, you're making no point. So I suggest you drop this topic. Jessica, do not dare me. I warn you, don't dare me. I know why you're doing this. You're doing all this just to spite me, isn't it? You're doing all this to spite me. Oh, please, in the name of God, I'm begging you. Leave my sister alone. Please, leave her alone. See, if you promise me you're going to stop seeing her, I promise you to God and stop bothering you. Give it has nothing to do with you. It has nothing. I love your sister. I've loved her from the first day I met her. Okay? It's, it's nothing to do with you. All right? Well, please, don't marry her. Please do not marry her. For my sake. See, I have a reason why I'm saying this. You won't believe me if I tell you. Please don't marry her. Please, Paul. It's not possible. Your sister and I are getting married soon. And that's that. Oh, oh look at me. I don't know. What do you want me to do? Why don't you tell me what you want me to do? Please. Oh, please. Oh, no, no, please. please. There's a, I don't know what this is for. Please. Please, in the name of God. Paul. Oh, look at me, please. Paul. I don't know why that girl just just stressing my life now. After all the times that I'm I don't love her. Now she's asking me to leave Jessica. Huh? What does she mean by that? The my problem eh, is that I still don't know why you're refusing that girl's advances. She she, she loves you dearly. Hey hey, just stop there. What do you mean by that? I love Jessica. Okay? Annabelle is not my type. Come on. What do you mean? Annabelle is not my type. I just wanted to know she's a medical doctor, man. Why do you keep bringing this issue of medical doctor? So what? She can be an apprentice for all I care. I'm just telling you. Yeah, you president of whatever country, man. You need okay. somebody to support you. Hey, hey remember, future. I have an important day today, okay? Please. I know, I know. I will I'll let you concentrate. I'll drop it. I'll drop it. I'll drop it. I still don't know what's holding our cutie, man. My oh, baby, what's what, man? I don't know. Let me go inside. Let me see your back. Ah, she's here. Hi, Kuri, you're looking good. Thank you. Your girl is looking good. <laughs> hey. Hey, can I still hug? Excuse me, please. Hey, hey, don't <laughs> hug my girl in front of me, okay? No, no problem. It's, I'm, I'm less off, man. I'm less off, man. What's your problem? <laughs> I didn't see that. I didn't see that. You guys are spoiling me, man. Are you, are, are you guys true? Huh? Jacob!
Since you won't heed my advice and leave Paul alone, I leave it to your mistakes. I mean, I'm off to London for a vacation and I will be coming back soon. Take care of yourself. I wonder why your sister hates us so much. Well, that's her business. Remind me there's nothing she can do about that. You didn't tell anyone you're back. And uh, you missed our wedding. Wait, is it necessary? Is it necessary you know if I am back? Besides, I don't owe you any explanation, okay? Stand up. When are you going to stop this animosity towards my husband and I? I mean, it's bad enough you deliberately missed our wedding. Why don't you just let this matter die? It is bad enough that she disobeyed me and went ahead to marry him. So it will never end, okay? All right? See, right now, I don't have any relative except my mother. So don't even bother yourself about me, okay? All right? Please, and please, don't ever stop me again to discuss this issue about you and your husband.
asked us so much. Why? Is that the way she just embarrassed us? See, Jessica, I don't, I don't want you to go near her face anymore. I don't even want you to see. I don't even want to see you near her anymore. No, honey. Mama would die if she sees us like this. What, what do you expect Mama to do? Please, honey, I have to go to her flat this evening. Please. Okay. If it makes you happy. about to die that I was going to get 11 boys for his football team and one girl as the referee. Baby. I can see how serious you are and uh, you better start looking for another wife to give you the remaining nine boys. Not on your life. You're the only one for me baby and you know that. <laughs> so where are my kids? Huh? They are sleeping. Did they eat? Sure. Did you read their bedtime stories? I did. Yeah, that's good. Um, why don't you go upstairs, shower, and come down for dinner? Because I'm starving. All right, baby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. <gasps> yeah, that reminds me. I got a letter for you. Mm -hmm. yeah, um, oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think you're putting on some weight. Why should I tell? Yes! Yes, Sonny, yes! What? Did you win a jackpot or something? Oh, it's Annabelle. Sister Annabelle. Honey, <coughs> she, said, she said she's sorry for treating me badly in the past and if she can come and spend two weeks with me. Honey, she wants to meet the kid. Baby, I don't and think... And to apologize to you personally. I don't think it's such a good idea, really. You know what that lady has shown us in the past. Honey, that's in the past. Look here, she said she's... She's not reborn again. And she's sorry for treating us badly. Honey, please, say she can come. Oh, well, if you say so. But... If that woman brings trouble to this house, there's only one thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show her the way out. You bet she won't. I'm gonna call her. Okay. Let me go shower, okay? Oh, right. Hello, Mama. Hello, Mama. God, I'm so happy. She's coming to spend her two weeks leave with us. I can't believe it. After six years, my sister has finally accepted my kids and husband. I'm so happy. <laughs> are you sure it's okay? I mean, are you sure having Annabelle in your home for two weeks is the right thing to do? How do you mean? Look, Jess. Annabelle and Paul never got along together in the past. She opposed strongly to this marriage. And now, six years later, she wants to come visit. Don't you imagine trouble? Look, Cynthia, Annabelle is my only sister. 
It's just like she's born again and needs my forgiveness. I'll gladly give it. I need her back in my life, don't you see? I honestly wish I can be happy for you. But I'm sorry, I can't. I can only wish you the best. But look, dear, you have to do me a favor. Avoid any confrontations with Annabelle and keep her out of Paul's way. If that's the case, you have nothing to worry about, okay? Annabelle is not going to fight me or my husband in our home, is she? Cynthia, I think we better start leaving now. Her plane will land in no minutes. Alright. I'm ready. This is a surprise. Yes. I didn't even know. Changed. You two need to change as well. You need God in your lives. Well, I'm a Christian. Anything more? I'm not interested. Really? Yeah. It's not the same like fanatics. So, yeah, fanatics is not good for anybody. While you were away, I took time to make something. You did? Yeah, I did. Oh, sister, thank you so much. Thank you. I was wondering how to go into our kitchen now. That's such a long time. Come on. It's what you're carrying, what not can I do for you? <laughs> thank you. I, I'll go to the kitchen and try it now. Unless you see her, she's a character. Love. Please have changed now, man. 
She's now born again. Well, that's what it seems. Is that what you say? I'm a master in this game. She's doing all this thing because she's still in love with you. And you should be careful. I saw that wild look, wild look on her face as soon as I stepped into that room. What you saw was the spiritual fire. <laughs> Come on, there's no stress, man. Was that, is that what you saw? Yeah. What I see is the devil's fire and it's going to burn. I'm <laughs> okay. serious. That girl loves you more than ever. Right. And you should be careful because it's dangerous. Jude, you know, Annabelle is not in love with me. I am not in love with her. Okay? Let's just rest this case. The problem I have with you is that you're too naive. Okay, okay. Oh, watch your back, man. Whoops. There's nothing there. Come, my guy, see. If there's crazy. any need for worry. You're crazy. I'll inform you first. Inform <laughs> me. I'm just visiting. I was just stressed. How far? You have to really take this Oh, visit. please. Man. The manager said that uh, we should see him <laughs> next week. <laughs> so that we can discuss. Kill yourself. Jessica, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? I can't bring our child back. Starving yourself won't bring our baby back. Oh, okay. What did the doctor say killed my baby? I have told you. Nothing, nothing. Your child died a natural death. The autopsy report revealed nothing. How can, so not, nothing kill my baby? How can nothing kill my baby? Okay, let nothing come and kill me. Oh, don't say that. Why did nothing kill my baby and left me? Nothing should have taken me instead and left my baby. Let nothing come and kill me.
Like this since the kids die and she lost her pregnancy. I don't know what to do. Let's just hope she pulls through. I think basically she needs someone around her always. What about you? Me. Oh. Paul, well, I have to return to work. I have postponed my resumption more than twice. I don't think the management will accept any more postponement. Please, Annabelle. You're the only person she seems to respond to. If you leave now, I don't know how I'm going to cope alone. Not with George and, and her. I don't know. Please. In that case, um, that means I have to resign and then reapply after she recovers. No, I can't ask you to do that. No. It's going to be so much. I mean... It's your means of livelihood. The Lord is my means of livelihood, okay? Besides, Jessica is my only sister. And I can do anything in this world for her. Okay? I'm going to accept this under one condition. That you at least let me pay half of your salary. At least till you get a job again. Well, I can't accept that. No, you can and you will. Please. Okay. If you insist, thank you. But that means I have to rush off to you, but I don't right away. And um, you tell Mama about the situation when you're traveling. <laughs>
forget to meet me. It's been such a long time. Yes. Please sit down, sit down. Thank you very much. How is your work? Fine, thank you. And your boy is doing very well, you know. No, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Annabelle. It's been six years now since you brought Junior to this home. And you don't seem to make any move to take him. What is the matter? Major, I appreciate your concern. I'm making arrangements to take Paul home permanently. So just give me a little more time. Okay? A growing boy needs his parents. If his father doesn't want him, why don't you take him home? I know you're financially sound. So money is not the problem. But I never said money was the problem. I know my son needs both his parents. And that's why I pay you a very huge sum of money to take care of him as a parent. But I can only be a nurse to him, Annabelle. Never his parents. Mommy, am I going home with you now? Will I see daddy? Take you and we'll go and stay with daddy, okay? Alright. Does the matron, your auntie, does she, does she treat you well, alright? Yes. Okay, that's good. So we'll go now, we'll go to, we'll go to get you to Mr. Bates so or tantalize your favorites. Which one do you want? Any of them. Any of them is okay. That's my boy. Thank you. 
So much. God will bless you. He bless you too, Paul. Paul, yeah. thank you very much. Yeah. I really must be on my way. The bus leaves by 9 a.m. Mm. And if I should miss the bus, that means I have to drive all the way to Ibadan. And that's a very long Yeah, really long. Okay. So, so I'll stop it. I'll yeah. just tell Jesse that, um, that you've left. Okay. And please, do make sure she takes her clothes. I will. Thank you, huh? No, thank you very much. All right. If also. <laughs> I always do that. Do you like it? in a very awesome way. The lame walked, the blind could see, even the dumb spoke. I am telling you, you need to have been there to see what God did with Pastor Peter. God used Pastor Peter in a very marvelous way. Really? Uh, sister, when is the next crusade so that I can go with you? Because as it stands, that your Pastor Peter seems to be the right person for me to talk to now. You want to go for the uh, crusade? Yes. You want to see Pastor Peter? Yes. Oh. Well, um, I, 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 I didn't tell you. We won't be having crusade very soon. And even when we do, it's going to be another six months. And that will be far away at Korea. Are you sure Paul is going to let you go that far? You're right. He doesn't believe in such things. Mm. But sister, can't you arrange a meeting between Pastor Peter and I at the church? Oh, you'd like to see the pastor? I haven't told you. Mm. Pastor Peter doesn't stay in Lagos. He stays in Port Harcourt. He only comes around when we have crusade or deliverance and service. But Sister, you, you told me he stays here in Lagos. In fact, just last week you said you were going to visit him. Yes. I said so. Mm. You must be mistaken. It was Pastor Daniel I said. Pastor Daniel is the one that stays in Lagos. Even right now, he's not in town. I'm sure you told me Pastor Peter stays here in Lagos. But let, let me not hold you to ransom. Why don't you unpack your things? Get some rest, maybe shower so that you can eat or cut something. Else. No, don't you worry. I'm already fasting. I'm fasting, yes. Besides, I have a lot to do in my room. So, uh -uh, sister, is there no end to this your love for God? You just return from three days fasting and praying, and you're already fasting again. I just hope you don't develop ulcer. Oh, no, I won't develop ulcer. I won't. God has been good to me. Why can't I give the rest of my life to Him? Why? See? The devil would have made mincemeat of all of us if not for the way I have been attacking him and his people. Alright. I mean, what would I have done without you? You really are God sent in my family. The Lord is our strength. Then just thank God for mercies like this. Little mercies, big mercies. Let me change our season. Where is Paul and George? Oh, 
Paul took George out. They, they both went out. things better either. God is going to give you another reason to sleep, okay? When? When is that going to be? God's time. Okay, don't stop Why are you doing this to stop, me? Stop, stop it. How can I lose my children? You know what, just come, come, let's let's to torture yourself like this. Think about our son. You're making him 
feel unwanted, unloved. Oh, look at you, baby. Why is it that everything around you is so void, empty? They were my children. Oh. They were my children. Why didn't that take me instead? Why am I leaving? Well, what am I leaving for? They were my children too, baby. They were my children too. And I love them as much. Baby, there is nothing we can do. Nothing. The only thing we can do is to leave. Baby. We still have our son, George. Baby. Let's stay with George. We can have more children. That's, that's, that's easy for you to say. You didn't carry those kids for nine months. I did. You, you didn't say long after every other person had gone to bed. I, I did. So don't stand here. Don't stand here about my children. I want to die! Oh, I'm going to fight them! Baby, baby, baby. Dad! Baby, baby. Shut up! Baby, please! Dad, where are you? Please, You're a chicken! You can't shut up! Baby, please! Baby, please. Baby, please. Baby, please. Please, please! I want to die! Please, no! Please, no! Please, sweet, sweet, please. No, I want my children! I want my children now! I want my children! I want my children! What's that? You're thinking that. Come and take me. I don't want to do this. What am I living for? Sweetie, sweetie, please listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. No, no, no. Sweetie, I want my children. Lady. Listen, sweetie. Lady. Sweetie, please. Turn me off. Jessica, her drugs, mm -hmm. the one for the morning and the afternoon. Mm -hmm. I also found out she doesn't take the drugs. I saw some over the sink and some under the carpet. So, so please, um, make sure she takes it, okay? I will. Right. And hey, you don't have to tell me to give my own sister her drugs. I'll take care of her, okay? I keep the drugs in the bar, okay? okay. 
Can't it wait? Super? No, it can't. No, no, no. It's about your sister. What about her? Has she done anything wrong? No, she hasn't. Baby, I think it's time your sister left. She's been here for a long time. This is a time we have to be to ourselves. We don't need any stranger to come and be here. I resent that. Please. My sister is no stranger. She's the reason for my sanity today. But for her, I would have committed suicide. Yes, I know, and I appreciate that. But come to think of it, she said she was going to be here for her leave. She's been here for like, what, seven months? Doesn't she have a life to live again? You know she does. She resigned to be with me when I lost Junior and, and, and Lizzie. Baby, what she did is what a sister should do for a sister. But that doesn't mean she should live here forever, does it? You know what? I don't care what you say or what anybody else say about this. My sister is staying here as long as she wants. And there is nothing you or anybody else to do about that. Period. By the way, do you think I don't know why you want her to leave? The reason I want her to leave is because she has overstayed her welcome here. Period. Really? Shameless womanizer. I think I haven't heard of your escapades and plans to have a new wife. Huh? But you know what? My God will expose you soon. Wait, wait, wait. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Oh, you think I wouldn't hear about it? Well, I have my ears to the ground. And I've heard about your little runs with those scruffy girls. But you know what? Go ahead. Jessica. Nemesis will catch up with you shut soon. Jessica, will you shut up? You I said shut up! Very soon. So you've been listening to all those lies? I can't believe this. You, you build yourself so low to, to listen to gossips? I'm sure your sister must have put no, you up to no, this. No, 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 no. Just leave my sister out of this, okay? And you know what? My sister is not leaving this house, period. Well, I say period. she is leaving, and that is final. Well, you know what?
Cook now. Huh? Baby, why did you cook? I'm asking you a question. Don't walk out of me when I ask you a question. I demand an answer. If you weren't so daft, you will know I stopped cooking your meals two weeks ago. Why don't you go back to those useless girls you run around and ask them to cook your meals? Oh, you want to see me pack out of this house before you know I'm serious? How can you call me daft? I, I don't will like call it. you whatever I choose, Paul. I will call you whatever I choose. And if you try to stop me one more time, you will see what you're Jessica, doing you Jessica, you're shouting. I will shout and you'll be talking about Jessica, shut up. Why don't you bother to stop me? Jessica, I'm going to go That's it. Come on, yeah, I don't know who's here. Help! 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 Help!
Your wife is where you sent her. You know, Paul, you should actually go for the Battle of the Year award. I mean, come on, with two broken ribs, a black eye, and a big patch on her face. You should actually go for the award, and I'm very sure you win. Congratulations. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. I was angry when I did it. I'm sorry. Where, where is she? She's at the family hospital. I need your help, man. I'm in trouble. What is the problem, Paul? Talk to me. Hmm? My family is in shambles. I have been deeply depressed due to all these deaths and miscarriages. So I asked Jessica to tell Annabelle to leave the house. She got upset with me and uh, she blew her top. She started calling me names. Um, she stopped cooking for me. I asked her why. She got angry and told me that I had girlfriends and we wanted to kill her and all that. I got really pissed. And I beat out. Oh. oh. What did you say? I... Paul, are you insane? Oh. At that moment, I was. She has refused to come home from the hospital. And she's been discharged for a long time now. Paul, I, I didn't get you right. You mean your beating took her to the hospital? What did you do that for? Sorry, man. I was angry. That's why I need you, man. Please come and help me talk to her. No. I will not do that. Paul, I will not. I will not talk for wife beater. Paul, why did you do that? Why? I'm sorry, man. You should be telling that to your wife and not me. Jude. I need my wife back home. I need for Jessica to come back. I need your help. Please bring my wife back home. Paul, Paul why, why did you do this? Why? solve this is by going to get a mother. That's the only way we can get her to listen to us. Especially now that she's going through emotional pains. That's a good idea. And I've got with you, but uh, I have some paper then. I'm supposed to submit to the manager the day after tomorrow. But as soon as you come into town, just call me. 
But Paul, the fact is that you shouldn't have done that. This is uncalled for at all. Junior. How? When? What's really going on here? I'm sure God has forsaken me. I'm very sure because my, my whole world is, 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 is scratching on me. My sweet family has turned into to the house of death, into a battleground. My once sweet husband has turned me into a punching bag. So do you look at me? See what I reduce to. It's okay, Jess. It'll be okay. God has not forsaken you. You must pull yourself together and be strong. And get on with your life. You have more to live for than you have lost. No, Cynthia, I, I don't want to live anymore. I don't want to live. What, what do I live for? You have your son, George. Your husband. Annabelle, your mom. Why is it you have me to live for? Dress up. Came from here immediately. To where? I'm not going back to that house. All I want now is for my mom to come and take me out of here. I'm not going back there. You don't know what you're saying. You can't abandon your family just like that. Look, I know you're hot inside, but the pain will go. And you have a reason to smile again. Will I ever smile again? Hasn't God deserted me? God has not deserted me. Love, you know it's me. It's me. 
will never touch you. Baby, please. Please, baby. You know I'm sorry. I could never do that to you. I'm sorry I lost my temper, baby. Please. Forgive me. Jesse. Listen to your husband. He's sorry for his actions. Forgive him. How could you? Well, how could you? You would have killed me. Please, I'm so sorry. Baby, you're my life. <coughs> you're my heart. You're my everything. Please, baby. I could never live without you, baby. Please. I love you so much. Yes. I love you too. I love you too, Paul. I'm sorry for being important with you, baby. If anyone should ask for forgiveness, baby, it's you. Please tell me you forgive me and you will come home. I forgive you and I'm glad you come home with you. Why didn't anybody come to tell me all that happened to my daughter? What if I heard it from someone else? Wait a minute, Mama. You mean Annabelle didn't inform you of her children's death and two miscarriages five months ago and two months later? Which Annabelle are you talking about? My own Annabelle? Yes, no. Yes, Mama. <laughs> my children, I have not set my eyes on Annabelle for close to two years now. You know she was angry with me for consenting to your marriage. <laughs> Though she sent money and letter once in a while, but I have not seen her. I even went to look for her in Portal Court where she moved to after her wedding. But I was told she was sacked and she's no more a doctor. <laughs> that uh, she mistakenly injected a pregnant woman with an uh, hypertensive um, drugs. The woman went into premature labor and died. <laughs> where did you see her? What is happening here? Mama? Annabelle has been living with us for seven months now. Yeah. And she was there when the kids died. She said she was going to see you five months ago. We gave her a letter and some money for you. Yes. Just three months ago, her resignation was approved. Uh -huh. You know, it was after that, that particular, particular trip. That yeah. She informed that she now informed us that your health, that you had um, blood pressure. Yeah. And that it was not good, it was not advisable for us to tell you anything. Again, after you received the death of, of our kids. Annabelle Medical Lancers was withdrawn from her over a year ago. You mean you children, it was all over the papers. You mean you children don't read newspapers? Huh? Eh? <laughs> Wait, you said Annabelle is at home right now? Yes. George. Okay, I will ask her when she gave me the money and later two people sent her to give to me. Huh. Oh, Joe. Mm. Why could Sister Annabelle lie about such a thing?
um, I noticed um, I noticed him he was running temperature, so I decided to give him some injection. You know, Junior and Lizzie uh, had the same symptoms before they died. You, you won't blame me. I mean, I, I, I overreacted, but with all that, you, you didn't tell me what was going Get these dangerous drugs from dangerous. What are they used for? These drugs can kill a human being in less than 24 hours. Doctors only use them on very rare occasions and on patients with very critical epidemic. Most times, these patients insist. <laughs> What's right thinking a human being will ask to be killed? If patients die of cancer, a HIV and AIDS, they demand for these drugs, you know, in order to escape. The, these pains of the ailments. These drugs can also be used to induce pregnancies. No matter how many more pregnancies may be, who gave these drugs to you? Um, someone very dear to me. She's a medical doctor. Um, I have to get going. I'm getting a red card. Are you sure you're alright? You look very well. I'm not all right, everyone, the food is ready. Mm -hmm. You know, I can't wait to eat this food that took so much time to prepare. Oh, the wine really? is superb. Thank you won't be disappointed. Yes, yes we'll see. because this is not enough. Really? <laughs> <laughs> 
Mister, why are you not eating? Don't you like my food? Or uh, is your conscience already pricking you? <laughs> what are you saying? If not that I've had lunch, I would have probably asked for some more. And what's that rubbish about conscience? They were your nieces. They were your children as well. Why did you kill them? Jesse, why? I thought we'd said all this was going to be in the past. I wouldn't have brought it up if I hadn't stumbled on the truth. Sister, why did you do it? Did, did you hate me so much that you want to wipe away my entire family? When were you going to stop? Are you going to stop after killing George and myself? Jesse! I'm not done. Is it because I'm married and you're not? Or does it annoy you so much that I finally graduated when you thought I would end up in the village? Why do you hate me so much? What is it that, that you hate so much about me that you, you want to kill your own flesh and blood? Jesse! You're embarrassing your sister. No, I'm not. I'm not. Ask her what these dangerous drugs and injections were doing hidden in her wardrobe. Ask her why she wanted to inject George with this yesterday. Ask my dear sister why she didn't tell us that she's no longer a medical doctor. Ask her. Ask her what is really her mission in this house. No, wait. I will ask her myself. <clears throat> dear sister, have you completed your mission in this house? Well, I would have finished if you did not come in unannounced two days ago. Yes, I would have finished my mission if your weakling of a husband did not barge in on me when I poisoned your tea. Then I would have finished my mission. What did I do to What have service? you not done? Let's try husband snatching for starters. You showed up from nowhere and took the only man I ever loved away from me. Yes, you took him away from me, Jessica. The man I bought a son for. My son is somewhere languishing in a motherless baby's home instead of being in his rightful place here in his father's house. You took him away from me. I lost my medical license because I couldn't concentrate anymore. I mistakenly injected a woman who was pregnant and that cost me my career. Jessica, that cost me my medical career. I was humiliated. I was arrested. I was charged to court. I went to hell. What are you, you talking about? You want to know what I'm talking about, but you don't know what I'm talking about. Let's ask our lover boy husband here. I'm sure he has all the answers to all the questions. What are you talking about? Oh, come on, Paul. Don't play Mr. Innocent Boy here now. Tell your wife about our little affair. What little affair? Have you lost it? The affair we had the night before you traveled to South Africa. That little affair produced a son. I took Mama's advice and I kept the baby. And you know, when I told you I was traveling abroad, I went to have my baby. And I was intending to bring him into his father's house after I had completed my mission. Paul, please tell 
told me this is not true. Tell me I'm dreaming. Oh no, sis, you're not dreaming. Your husband and I had an affair before you threw yourself at him and trapped him down with an unwanted pregnancy. I did not have an affair with you! You loved me, but I did not! Baby, she threw herself shamelessly on me, but I refused. I was drunk that night. I still don't know how I got into your flat, but if you think I am going to accept responsibility for what I did not do, I will not because you caused it! You were drunk. Oh, you were drunk. You were drunk when you told me how much of a woman I was. Oh, you were drunk when you ravished me so many times that night. You were drunk when you told me that you loved me. Liar! Liar! I never did. For your information, I will have nothing to do with that bastard. That's if he really is yours and if he really exists. I really do have a son by you. And you know what, Paul? I named him after his father. He's Paul Junior. Paul, you need to see him. He's your exact replica. One more thing. I'm pregnant again. Four weeks pregnant. For you. Again. Yes, it happened the night you came back dead drunk after beating your wife black and blue. And this time I hope it's a baby girl. And I'm gonna beat that bastard out of you if I have to. You shameless. Oh, shut up, you brat. You're not even woman enough to keep your husband. I should have let you bleed to death the day you had that your miscarriage. Or worse still, let you drown in that pool the day he pushed you inside that pool. At least by now, we will not be having this stupid discussion. Shut, now. shut up. Oh, since you decided to tear my family apart, I'm going to. Don't you... <laughs>